Hello great people, African traveler again. I'm honored and privileged to be back to this most beautiful city and most cleanest city in Kenya called Kisumu, which came from a very small market, started as a very small market called Sumo. The major community here is basically from the Luo community. And we came to show you guys the beautiful city of Kisumu and how it has progressed to be one of the cleanest, one of the most organized city in the country. Just look at the areas around the city. The city is well lit at night. All the streets have, you know, sidewalks for people, footpaths for people. The roads are well marked. The city is just spectacular. And I just want to say congratulations to the current governor and uh, the uh, Professor Nyang Nyong. You've done an amazing job transforming this city to what it is today. So guys, I'm going to start a journey of showing you how beautiful and what transformation has happened in the city. I hope you guys will subscribe and stick to the channel as I show you more about the city. Kisumu is the third largest city in Kenya after the capital Nairobi and the coastal city of Mombasa, making Kisumu the largest city in Kenya, west of Nairobi. It is the third largest city after Kampala. Kisumu is not far from Kogelo, a village known for being home to Barack Obama, the fourth fourth president of the United States, and leaders like Raila Odinga in Kenya. Culturally, Kisumu served as the headquarters of the Luo-speaking people in East Africa. It was the most prominent urban center in the post-colonial and modern era for the native of Kavirondo region. Some of the most significant political events that have shaped the trajectory Kenya happened in Kisumu, including the famous political spat between founding president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, and founding vice president, Jaramogi Odinga, during the opening of the Jaramogi Odinga Odinga Technical and Farol Hospital in 1969. Apart from being an important political city, it it is one of the premier industrial and commercial centers in Kenya. The city is currently undergoing an urban rejuvenation of the downtown and the lower town, which include modernizing the, the lakefront, decongesting main streets, and making the streets pedestrian friendly, as I could show you guys. Guys, you can't imagine I'm back uh, to this beautiful city of Kisumu. Um, and here we are in this beautiful house. This beautiful room, guys, you can see here. This is where we spent our night. Guys, this place is amazing. When you come to Kisumu, check it out, guys. Uh, it's been beautiful. Like, it's given us a lot of space to charge our gadgets, sit down. Let's look at on the way outside, you know, the vicinity, you can just see awesome, awesome, awesome views of the place. Just look at this. Nice with shrooms. It's beautiful. It's just, it's just amazing. It's called Victor, Victoria Suit. Victoria, it's very interesting. It's not Vic, it's Victoria Suit with double T. Check it out when you come to Kisumu, you won't regret it. Like, it's beautiful. So let me guys, we're going to shower, then we go to take breakfast, then we kick, we hit the road. It's gonna be an amazing day and I hope you guys will enjoy. Don't, subs don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Beautiful people. So guys, we're here for breakfast. Let's see what's on offer. So we just started with some passion fruits. Uh, different type of juices, fruits. You see banana, watermelon, pineapple. We have cereal here. We have cold milk, hot milk. Hey, sour porridge. I've missed this thing, guy. I think today I'll try it. Uh, I think with sugar for my tongue, and my hot milk, mixed tea, hot water. I don't know which one you prefer. Wow. I'm going to show you the cut. And you have peanut butter here, you have butter, blue band, jam. Ah, you can get toasted bread. Huh? I can see some croissants, some mandazi. What is this? This is um pie. I don't know which pie. 
kama ni gani eh eh watu wangu waocha buda kuna ndoma hapa kuna kuna vegetable yani kitu tu kwa vegetable hapa watu wangu wa beef watu wangu wa beef kuna some sausages hapa some mushrooms some uh matongo wa proteins hapa ni proteins hapa more proteins of sausages uh back beans and i can see here this is mushroom i love mushroom and dombas pale mzee sisi ni watu wa mshahara and some eggs here so wacha tuanze kukararua mzee msafishike hiyo camera na kufa hey guys the sour porridge is fantastic when you come here don't even think of not using this guy this is one of the best uh, uh, sour porridge I've taken around amazing mm -hmm. wow I don't know what you call sour porridge in your in your language what do you call sour porridge in your language uh, sometimes they it's I remember in traditional setup I think you used to put it in a in a container until it's you know it's um it get fermented it's fermented porridge. I don't know what you call that in your language. I think it's one of the best porridge if you ask me and uh, it's something I've really really missed. It's amazing. Thank you Victoria Cut. Guys done with the starter right now on the main course before we do the the dessert. So this is an thing and is a you know foundation you have to hold the whole day so amazing mushroom hey so mushrooms mm -hmm. Mm Kisumu serves as the capital city of Kisumu County in Kenya and has a population of about 400,000 people as per the Kenya Population Census of 2019. The rural population of Kisumu County was about 710 during the same census, indicating the city comprises the majority of the urban residents in the county whose total population was 1.15 million people. Kisumu is the immediate former capital of Nyanza province and the headquarter of Kisumu County. An important link in, in the trade route between Lake Victoria and Mombasa because of its water and rail link connection. It is also the, the chief terminal of the agricultural produce of Nyanza and Western Province. It is the largest and the most important city in the Western Kenya. Kisumu serves as a trading and transportation hub for the Great Lake region in Western Kenya. Kisumu International Airport has regular flights to Nairobi and other neighboring cities such as Mombasa. There are plans for flight to Mwanza, Kigali, Kampala, Dar es Salaam, Juba, among others. It is the second most important city after Kampala in the Greater Lake Victoria Basin, although Mwanza has overtaken it in its population size. According to the United Nations, it is now recognized as the key city and millennium city the first of its kind in the world and also in East Africa. It is officially known as Kisumu City, uh, formerly known as Port Florence. Kisumu Port was founded in 1901 as a main inland terminal for the Ugandan railway named Port Florence. Although trade stagnated in the 1980s and 90s, it is again growing around oil export. Other names of the city include Dala, which is home of the Luo, 
Kisuma place of butter trade KC short for Kisumu city Odumo Nairobi Sheng for Kisumu and others residents may be called wopians in reference to the resident taste of upper class and high end lifestyle as found in the european cities like milan london paris it is not uncommon to hear residents say kisumu is like europe the name kisumu literally mean a place of butter trade is this, is this the haunted house huh? so many theories about this house guys this is where we had taken some nice shots of this area as you can see this construction uh, had stalled for quite a while but right now it's back uh, on a very fast pace so i hope very soon the drivers people driving along this road will soon enjoy riding or driving along this road would enjoy this beautiful beautiful interchange here at mamboleo and besides it is one of the biggest mall in uh, western kenya the famous place, Kondele. Uh, it's very, very well known across the country. This is where you find Baba's or Raila's diehard fans. You don't joke with Baba. And uh, this is where they ensure you don't joke with Baba. But uh, this election has been quite different, and I hope uh, we all come to, you know, it's, uh, it's time for Ruto now to work. Regardless if we didn't or we voted for him. Let's see what he can do. Uhuru left a legacy of uh, road construction development and infrastructure development. So this is the famous roundabout you guys always see on news. I'm uh, honored to be here guys of Kondele. But other than that, uh, much respect for Nyang Nyong. The infrastructure, infrastructure development around the city, the beautification, cleanliness, just top notch. You can imagine we are in market. This is a very high traffic area. But today is on a Sunday, and as you can see, it's still, uh, this is where you expect uh, to see a lot of dirt. But it's still clean. There's a very nice market here. Uh, it's a beautiful market. We're back in Kisumu. Uh, loving every other time you come here you just adore this beautiful city it's beautiful it's beautiful there's no other way to explain how beautiful this city is and yeah i hope you guys have subscribed i hope you guys have liked as we keep showing you uh, you guys around the city this beautiful city i don't know it's not you have to mention the beautiful kisumu city Pavements across the city, uh, a lot of markings uh, on the city streets. It's just amazing. Uh, this is another mall here, United Mall, one of the busiest uh, and the biggest mall within the town. Within the city, the beautiful city of Kizum, you can see a lot of international and local uh, major brands KFC, Elsewhere Kiki, Java, uh, Carrefour. Naivas next door. Beautiful man. I think Western Kenya has a lot of milestones in terms of, uh, especially in regard to two professors that we have Professor um, Oparanya and Professor Nyang Nyong. They've proven that uh, being a professor is not just a name, it's also hard work in it, and, uh, a lot of planning and implementation uh, in their strides. What are these guys doing? Going against traffic, you know, that's... Nyorosha, what do you do? It's tarmac. You hardly see, even in residential area, you hardly see Maram roads. Lots. A lot of supermarkets. You can see this is Quick Mart. And in front of it you have Naivas. Then haters. Hey, then do the guys, Mazi. Hey. Man, Kisumu is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful roundabout to see. So the streets are deserted because it's on a Sunday. And don't ask why. It's 
street deserted. Just look at the port. Very beautiful port. Very symbolic to this place. So. Yo, what's up, great people? African travel again. Still showing you guys a beautiful, beautiful city of Kisumu. And one thing I love about the city is the roundabouts. They are one of the most. Is the, is one of those cities with the well. Uh, beautiful, well decorated roundabout that you really marvel at with some iconic structures that really tell a story about the city. Uh, and as you can see behind us, this is one of the main streets in the city. And uh, it's a Sunday and it gives us a great opportunity just to show you how marvelous and beautiful this place is. Just to tell you guys, it's time now for you guys to travel and come and enjoy this magnificent view of Kisumu. Business is back to normal and life goes on. So don't forget to come and enjoy this beautiful city. I'm going to show you more areas about Kisumu and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Just look guys at the cabros across all the cities. Full of cabros. You know, there's nowhere you see soil. And just look at the cleanness. Today is not a, it's really a Sunday, they don't clean it, but it's already clean, uh, which means there's a culture of cleanliness in the city. Let me just try and ask a few people of how they see uh, the new city. Right? So guys, I'm in the street of Kisumu. We just found some people just chilling around. And I want to ask them about how they feel Kisumu, how the feeling is, and uh, how they like their governor. <coughs> Boss, let on Annie. Eh, kwa majina naitwa Patrick Mondio Ketch. Yes. Ya mfanyikazi um, Kisumu hapa. Na tunafurahia kuona Kisumu vile tuna amani saizi hasa baada ya uchaguzi tukawa na maneno mengi kuwa labda pengine watu wa kutoka wazungu wasitembelee Kisumu lakini tunasema Kisumu tuna amani. Yes. Tumetulia. Saizi watu wamekomaa. Na wanakaribishwa hapa Kisumu. It's, na kisumu, ni kusafi sana. Kisumu ni kusafi yes. na tunashukuru pia governor ambaye amekuwa kwa tamu ya kwanza mm. na amekuwa kwa tamu ya pili tunajua atazidi kufanya maendeleo kwa Kisumu zaidi. Asante sana. Sa shukran. Na governor unasemaje juu ya governor pia? Governor Lamio. Yes. Na mimi wako sawa. Mm. Na tumempea nafasi ya pili. Yeah. Kwa vile Mungu amemjalia. Yes. Atufanyie kazi. Unaona Kisumu imebadilika si kama kitambo ilikuwa. Yes. Kisumu imegara iko na safi kuna usafi vitu vingi vitu mingi ametengeneza magari jam imetolewa kwa town sasa town ni safi sasa so e, the next 5 years nini unataka nyanyo wafanye sana the next 5 years in the next 5 years nataka sasa hii sasa asidwe sana kwa usafi wa town mm atafute vijana za saidia vijana wadogo wadogo yeah. na, na mama wajane na watoto wa mayatima wale wenye anaweza kusaidia. Watu kama sisi ni asla wa kisumu. Watu angalie. Yeah. Asante. Nashukuru sana. Ah, ah niko na mse wa Rift Valley hapa hivi. Naitwa nani? Haya. Kwa majina naitwa Dennis Chepwany. Yeah. Na nafanya kazi hapa Kisumu. Mm. Na Kisumu za ni palipo. Ah, kuna ngori yote. Yeah. So far tuko na peace like Misi jeo na amani nyeme kwa Kisumu ka ka hii. Yeah. Ulikuwa umetoroka? Hmm? Ah, kutoroka tumekuwa Kisumu by the misi. Umekuwa Kisumu throughout. Yeah, nilienda nika vote yeah. then nikarudi. Oh. Yeah. But uh, the the calmness na clarity were really normal. I for normal misi japitia shida yote kwa perhaps naishi simu zenye wanasema is a hot spot. Mm. But sijaona shida yote. So guys wa Kisumu sasa na hope guys you guys have heard from the horse's mouth. It's time to start visiting Kisumu. There's so much to see, there's so much uh, uh, historical sites, as much as things like it, Mikaye, the city itself. So many hotels and resorts to enjoy your time here. As you know, there's a nice breeze in this city. And if, you're, if you feel like in your place, kuna winter nanini, it's the time to visit Kenya and enjoy uh, the magnificent, beautiful city of Kisumu. Let's go to different places. Asante, yeah? Aye. So guys, if you feel like, if you see the reason why there are so not, not so many people is because today is on a Sunday. Just look at the beautification, the greenery of the area is just amazing. Just show them the streets. Beautiful. Just love the, the the pots, the flower pots. The last time I left here, Kenton Towers was still uh, uh, under construction. So right now I'm here. I see Kenton Towers 
looking super, super beautiful. This is just magnificent. There's a beautiful recreation park here. I don't know if it's open for the public or it's still under construction, so we're just trying to see. So I will check for you further details about the green pillars. It's like the, it's one of the landmarks here in Mombasa. We have the elephant task. In Kisumu, the green pillars, I don't know what to call them, are usually the landmark of Kisumu, one of the main landmarks of Kisumu, as I can say. And uh, it's really glad to see how it's been maintained. Just such as seats like these were foreign in the, in the city, and that right now, if you're in the city and you're tired and you feel dizzy, right now you have a space to chill and enjoy yourself. Why don't you visit Kisumu? Why? With all this, back to in studio. And apart from the recreation park you see, or the roads, the flower beds, the flowers on the streets, the markets have also been uh, remodeled and uh, modernized within the city. So what I can say is, is uh, the future of Kisumu is magnificent, the future of Kisumu is bright, and with the peace that is currently prevailing in the country and in the city, uh, this city is bound to explode in terms of development and many other things. So uh, if you're planning to invest in the country, uh, there's a lot of cash flow in the city and this is one of the best places to invest as an investor from African Traveller to you back in studio. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. See you guys on the next one. <laughs> Apart from the beautification of the city, we also have a lot of road project construction within the city uh, that are still going on in the different neighborhoods uh, around Kitsumu. And with that, it has led to construction of really amazing real estate. Could see a lot of newer estates coming along on, on the way to the airport, Mamboleo. There's a lot of uh, apartments coming up around that area. Riyadh Hills, uh, very nice gated communities uh, coming up around those areas. This just gets to show you how fast Kisumu is developing both infrastructure, estates, roads. So yeah, we are leaving Kisumu on our way to Nairobi and I uh, just want to say thank you to Belinda and uh, Oliver Litondo and Belinda Litondo for the kindness you give for hosting us. So it, it has come to our time that we have to really leave the city of Kisumu on our way back to Nairobi. And uh, there's so much we've learned from the city and I hope so many of the other counties uh, and regional headquarters can, take, can borrow from uh, this beautiful city. If not consulting the governor, you see what it takes to build a beautiful city and just take some learning from me to just implement in your areas. I know it's very important to uh, extend, you know, build village roads and everything post counties are big. But the real face of a city, it's in its headquarters. So if the headquarters is a bit shaggy, let's just look at that. Another map, you guys. Like, Kisumu is just on another level, guys. And um, it's sad that we're leaving, but I have to give some shout out for the great hotel, uh, Vic, v Victoria Suits. Thank you for the kind and. Uh, customer service for the kind uh, for the nice meals that we really enjoyed uh, for the breakfast and just the nice rooms that you guys have it's amazing so if you come to Nakisumu check Victoria Suits it's one of the best it's one of the best in the city it's, it's without a doubt the location very close to the city in a very secure place next to the most affluent neighborhood in Kisumu called Kirimani uh, thanks to Belinda and Oliver Litondo. Thanks to Oliver Litondo and Belinda Litondo for hosting us, guys. If you we did a video back then, and they are one of the most uh, famous Kenyans, uh, done amazing, especially when it comes to film industry. We were at their home, guys. Uh, we ate some nice fish, some nice meals. You know, it's, guys here are very welcoming, guys. It's uh, it's, it's amazing. And rather than that, we had a beautiful wedding that we had attended in this place. I hope we show you guys in the future, in the near future. And uh, thanks for them hosting us as well. You guys will come to know my good friend Maya uh, and Trudy. Thank you guys for hosting us. We had a very nice African traditional wedding with African Maya and Trudy. I hope we will show you guys.
guys going to show you uh, basically what it was and it's amazing so that is what really brought us here and uh, it's been amazing we couldn't live without showing you guys basically the beautiful Kisomo mini likuja ni kona kwanza hizo the city how it looks the car pros and flowers everywhere cleanless it's like wow wow like the city keeps surprising us make time and visit this beautiful 